Well, like I mentioned, it's it's not a huge app. Uh, at least WeChat is not a huge app here in the U.S. And so I think a lot of people do use it to communicate with friends or family back in China. Uh, but really, when you're talking about U.S. communication, it's going to be iMessage or it's going to be Facebook Messenger or, or Instagram or something like that. So I, I think there's already a lot of alternatives in place um, for U.S. communication. When you're talking about TikTok, let's pretend that uh, there is a ban at some point in the future. I think uh, Instagram is probably the, the most well positioned to take advantage because you just mentioned they do have reels. They have a, a similar product. A lot of the creators that are on TikTok are already on Instagram. So they're kind of familiar. They have built up audiences. I think YouTube is another one, of course, right? Where a lot of people who are on uh, TikTok now already have audiences on YouTube. So I think those two probably stand to benefit some. Um, but again, I, I think from a from a more immediate standpoint, because both of these apps will continue to operate in the very short term, um, it's not really something that I think has been has certainly been decided.